All right, we got Mr. Beasley here. This is the last day of our 21 day program. And I'm just gonna get some feedback from him on how he feels a day, 21 days later after three weeks of training and let him kind of describe balance and feel and whatnot. Well, I would say the, the operative word is control. I feel I have greater control over my movements. Uh, I still have a 69 year old body but I am able to better control both in my takeaway and in how I want to come in to make impact with the ball. So the, the sessions that we did from a mobility standpoint, do you feel the balance and mobility together gives you a better sequence? Gives me a much better sequence. Okay, which, um, which is our goal. Yeah, I'm not a scratch golfer yet. But I feel that um, I'm in, um, I feel more confident in my takeaway and how I'm, I'm, I'm approaching my shot. So part of our discussions went with how strong he played on the front nine and how the game dissipated as he went on the back nine. So we're gonna learn uh, in actual competition as he plays, but do you feel you're gonna be stronger on the back nine with, yeah. the, with this, because we've got some neuromuscular training involved where we're, the grip, the strength, we're, we've done some specific grip strength building and done uh, some things to hopefully allow a longer duplication of a good process so fatigue is not experienced earlier but later. What are your thoughts on that, Mr. Beasley? Yeah, I think my endurance is, is definitely much stronger. Um, I don't strain as much with my activity, so I don't expect to be worn out as quickly. I think a lot of that has is, is, uh, come from my, my ineffective approach. Uh, I think if I, uh, I'm learning to relax and to breathe through my activity so that that should help with my endurance. Good, so yeah, the breathing, we've worked on breathing, we've worked on grip strength, we've worked on a lot of those things, so. Yeah. All right, well, test day is Monday. We're gonna actually do some testing and see the numbers and be able to compare them. So thank you, Mr. Beasley.